I'm Julia Sondu, showing you where development is happening. Please come and join us. On August 28, 2023, Burkina Faso Army receives Emirati-made Isotrex Phantom MRAP vehicles. The Burkina Faso Army has received a shipment of Emirati-made Isotrex Phantom Mine-Resistant Ambush Protected MRAP, vehicles. The vehicles are believed to have been acquired from the United Arab Emirates UAE, a close ally of Burkina Faso. The Phantom is a 4x4 MRAP that is designed to protect its occupants from mines, improvised explosive devices, IEDs, and small arms fire. It is equipped with a V-shaped hull that deflects the blast from mines and IEDs, and it has a crew compartment that is armored to withstand gunfire. The Phantom is also equipped with a variety of other features, such as run-flat tires and a fire suppression system. The acquisition of the Phantom MRAPs is a significant boost to the Burkina Faso Army's capabilities. The vehicles will help to protect soldiers from the many threats they face, including the ongoing terrorist insurgency in the country. The images of the Phantom MRAPs also come at a time of heightened tensions between Burkina Faso and the Economic Community of West African States ECOWAS. ECOWAS has threatened to intervene militarily in Niger, an ally of Burkina Faso, over the country's recent coup d'etat. Burkina Faso has declared that any attack on Nigerian soil would be considered an attack on its own territory. The presence of the Phantom MRAPs in Burkina Faso may be seen as a sign of the country's determination to defend itself against any potential threats. Meanwhile, earlier, on August 8, 2023, Chad receives NIMRMCAV-20 Caledius armored vehicles from UAE. The military cooperation pact was one of several bilateral agreements signed between the two countries. The UAE has sent a shipment of military vehicles and security equipment to the Republic of Chad to support its capabilities in combating terrorism and enhancing border protection. This initiative falls within the framework of the strong ties between the UAE and Chad at various levels, which have resulted in the signing of several bilateral agreements, including a military cooperation agreement in June during the official visit of Mohamed Idris Deby, chairman of Chad's Transitional Military Council, to Abu Dhabi. The vehicles are the Emirati-made NIMR armored vehicles. The shipment included at least six armored vehicles of the MCAV-20 Caledius model, manufactured by the Emirati company NIMR, with the Chadian and Emirati flags visible on two of these vehicles. The UAE, which has been developing its own defense industry, has also been increasing its engagement with African nations. Rashid Saeed al-Shamsi, UAE ambassador to Chad, delivered the supply shipment to Lieutenant General Daoud Yahya Brahim, Chad's Minister of Defense, in the presence of the Chief of the General Staff of the Chadian Army, the Chief of the Strategic Reserve Forces of the Chadian Army, and high-ranking Chadian military officials. The Chadian Minister of Defense expressed his country's appreciation for the UAE's ongoing support, which will contribute to restoring peace and stability in the region, stressing that military cooperation plays a key role in enhancing security and efforts to overcome challenges. The Military Cooperation Pact was one of several bilateral agreements signed between the two countries. Njamena confirmed that it had received armored vehicles in the framework of military cooperation between Chad and the Emirates. This equipment allows us to strengthen our defense forces in the framework of the struggle against terrorism, Chad's Defense Minister Daoud Yahya Brahim told the media. On August 15, 2023, New Niger's Prime Minister Zine's surprise visit to Chad, strengthening regional ties. In a surprising diplomatic move, Niger's military-appointed civilian Prime Minister, Ali Mahaman Lamine Zaina, paid an unexpected visit to neighboring Chad. The visit drew immediate attention, as it comes at a critical juncture in the region's politics, especially after the recent military intervention in Niger. During his visit, 
Zainer met with Chadian President, Muhammad Idris Debi Itno, to discuss various pressing matters. Zainer emphasized the message of good neighborliness and good fraternity from the Niger leadership. His remarks underscored the desire to build and strengthen relations between the two nations, even amid challenging political transitions. During his visit, Prime Minister Zainer highlighted the ongoing transitional process in Niger, a subject that holds immense significance for both nations. He stated, we are in a process of transition, we discussed the ins and outs and reiterated our availability to remain open and talk with all parties, but insist on our country's independence. The comments provide insight into the delicate balance that Niger's government is attempting to maintain during this period of political upheaval. The insistence on the country's independence appears to be a firm stance taken by Zainer, reflecting Niger's resolve to navigate its political path without undue external influence. Zain's unexpected visit to Chad comes just hours after regional sources reported that military chiefs from ECOWAS, Economic Community of West African States, would meet in Ghana on Thursday and Friday. The meeting follows the approved deployment of the ECOWAS standby force to restore democracy in Niger. Chadian President Debbie, who was appointed following a coup in his country, has played a crucial role in mediating the Niger crisis. His involvement in peace efforts includes immediate visits to Niger after elected President Mohamed Bazoum was ousted. Debbie met with both Bazoum and the coup leaders, signifying Chad's active engagement in resolving the crisis. Prime Minister Ali Mohamed Lamin Zain's unexpected visit to Chad represents a significant diplomatic gesture, highlighting the intricate relationships and political maneuvering within the region. The discussions between Zainer and President Deby shed light on the shared interests, concerns, and aspirations of the two neighboring countries. Meanwhile, Niger's junta invites Mali and Burkina Faso to aid its defense, asks the French ambassador to leave. Niger's junta authorized troops from neighboring Mali and Burkina Faso to come to its defense and ask the French ambassador to leave the country Friday, raising the stakes in a standoff with other West African nations who are threatening force to reinstate Niger's democratically elected president. The junta leader, Brigadier General Abdramani Chiani, signed two executive orders authorizing the security forces of Burkina Faso and Mali to intervene on Niger territory in the event of aggression, senior junta official Umaru Ibrahim Sidi said late Thursday, after hosting a delegation from the two countries in the Nigerian capital, Niamey. Sidi did not provide further details about the military support from the two countries whose military regimes have said any use of force by the West African bloc ECOWAS against Niger's junta would be treated as an act of war against their own nations. The Nigerian Ministry of Foreign Affairs said French Ambassador Sylvain It was asked to leave Niger within 48 hours in a letter that accused him of ignoring an invitation for a meeting with the ministry. The letter dated Friday, a copy of which was seen by the Associated Press, also cited actions of the French government contrary to the interests of Niger. France has consistently acknowledged only the authority of Niger's elected president Mohamed Bazoum, still detained by the junta. Paris reiterated Friday night that only legitimate elected Nigerian authorities have a say about the fate of its ambassador. The invitation of troops from Mali and Burkina Faso as well as the expulsion of the French ambassador show a very strong alignment between the regimes of the two countries and that of Niger, in terms of having a very strong anti-Western and pro-authoritarian orientation, said Nate Allen, an associate professor at the Africa Center for Strategic Studies. This is the end of our program today. See you on Intervlog same time tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get new video updates. Thank you for watching Intervlog. Thank you.